silent thunder, still wind, quiet storm. Be very, very quiet. We're doing something crazy. Yes. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, mother. Ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. This scale was a good scale, and served her duty for as long as she possibly could. While this is a time for some to be sad, we must remember to be happy, for she no longer has to carry the burden of morbid obesity upon her parts every morning. This scale hath lied to me one too many times. And she got what she bloody deserved. She will be missed. Amen. Hello everybody, hope you all enjoyed that. So yes, uh, my scale lied to me. It had me believing that I was only 235 pounds, when in reality I was more like 245. That kind of stuff only happens to me, right? And the way I figured it out was I stepped on the scale one morning and it said 235. And you know, being obese and whatnot, I decided I would get back on it and see if it was the same and, you know, average out between the one and two pound differences since it was a crappy scale anyway. What does it say? 260 pounds. I spontaneously gained 25 pounds. I'm horrible at math. Don't judge me. Yeah, I spontaneously gained 25 pounds and I kind of figured out that that doesn't really happen in real life. So I go out and I get a new scale and it says I'm like 245 or something like that and I can handle that. And from that point, you know, I was already getting back on like the diet and the exercise. I got an exercise bike made specially for fat people. But uh, I've managed to this morning get down to 238 pounds.
I now officially weigh less than Homer Simpson, and that's awesome. Um, so yeah, that was a strange experience, and I've wanted to make this video ever since the scale screwed up on me, and that has been literally a week. Yeah. And where I've been since then, I think I made a video last Wednesday, maybe. Like, I don't even remember. That's how horrible my memory is. I remember that I did not do a Nature Sunday, which I should have done. I'm horrible at starting things and then just letting them go. But, uh, yeah, I've been working on the Thunderbird since the Jeep broke. Right, that was Cars Really Hate Me. That was the last video I made. That was Wednesday. But, yeah, since the Jeep broke, I've been working on the Thunderbird. And I consider it to be about 75% right now. I got a new alternator so the battery doesn't drain. But it still feels like the car could just fall apart at any moment because I need to put on the inner and outer tie rod ends and new sway bar links. And at that point the car will be about at 90%. 90% because it still tries to die sometimes and the tires are horribly dry rotted. But right now it's my daily driver. It's all I've got, and I'm working on it. I actually kind of like the old ugly thing. I heard something that made me feel slightly less like a granny woman, which was the Thunderbird was like the man's Mustang. <laughs> but yeah, it's got the 5.0 V8 in it. I'm one of those people who, any other type of brand of car, I destroy, but I can actually sit down and work on and fix a Ford. That is kind of a curse because they always need fixing, but it's something. So anyways, everybody, I am the Quiet Storm. It's been a heck of a week, and things are still crazy. So thank you all for watching, for anyone who sees this, and I'll see you soon. Hopefully on Nature Sunday. And I may upload a video of replacing tie rod ends or sway bar link on the Thunderbird if it proves to not be too difficult. So, yeah. Be on the lookout for that. I am the Quiet Storm. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.